The end of your trials in sight, my friend. But so too is your doom. Are you ready? Time to see if this Achilles is as good as everyone says he is. Then I'll inform Patroclus. May the gods be with you, Jason.
Come, come. Come, come. Make it easy for you. Here I am. Come, come. Come, come. Rip, please. Give it to I'll make it easy for you. Here I am. I try to give the people a bit of show before I take men's lives. But the show's over now. It will be. Soon enough. Come, come. I am not fated to come, die come. on Mycenae. Keep believing that. Make it easy for you. Here I am. Come, come. Come, come. Come, come. Come, come.
declare this contest a draw. If it is to continue, it will not be this day. King Jason of Yorkus is found innocent. Lycomedes has spared King Jason of certain death. It was only a matter of time until your champion, Achilles! Citizens, please! Show Achilles your affection! The man of Mycenae! Still undefeated! Still undefeated! Amazing! I've never seen such a battle in all my years. Those were mighty wounds you both inflicted. Jason, that was some show! I think you might have a future as an arena champion. That's not any future I hope for, my friend. So, was he as good as they say? He may be arrogant, but he wields that spear with uncanny precision. I've never seen anything like it. If you two don't mind, I'd like to tend to my patient. You want patience for your patient. But King Lycomedes is impatient. He waits to speak with Jason in the gardens outside his palace. I'm almost finished. One moment, please. Thank you, Asclepius, truly. But I must go to Lycomedes. <sighs> Very well. But do not exert yourself too soon, or you'll tear that wound open again. By Hephaestus, that was a fight. Patroclus's head nearly burst in frustration. I'm glad you were entertained, Daedalus. I'm glad you're still alive. Your trial's finished, my friend. You're free to go. Before I leave, I'd like to finally hear the story behind those wings. A deal's a deal, but it's not a happy story. What hangs there on the wall is one of two sets of wings I constructed back on Crete. For many years I served King Minos there, and many wonders I built for him. Jealous to keep my craft to himself, he kept me and my son, Icarus, imprisoned in a tower. I built two pairs of wings, one for me, one for Icarus. So together we might make our escape. Both were perfectly made. But only one survived the journey. You see it hanging on the wall. The other pair lies at the bottom of the sea. My son, alongside it. I'm sorry, Daedalus. I didn't wish to bring up painful memories. No apology needed. Truth be told, I'm glad to have at last shared that story with someone. But now's not the time for sorrow. You're a free man again, Jason. Free to continue my quest, at least. I must go to Lycomedes. By all means. The exit's over there, near the guard. Take that passage to the end.
I was wrong to have doubted you, Jason. I see now. I alone am to blame. I need your help, Lycomedes. Join with me. Together we can bring Alcime back. Alcime is gone. And I have failed. My Sine, Ares, my daughter. I should have told you of the prophecy. What's done is done. What matters now is what we do next. Because of my pride, the line of Ares will die. There is still hope. Join me. We'll find the fleece. No. Jason. Alcime is gone. I must think of Mycenae now. This land deserves a ruler worthy of her. I have decided to relinquish my crown. And choose a successor. Like Amidis, it doesn't have to be that way. Soon, I'll be called to make my account in the next world. Before the chariot rider himself, my final act as king will be to find someone worthy in his eyes to take my place. need you, now more than ever. You have a chance to restore your line. You must try. My mind is set. Patroclus has already been informed. Let the most worthy warrior claim the fist of Ares. I thought Achilles was that man. But after your trial, so certain. Nothing is certain anymore. So let there be a tournament, the last of Lycomedes, and let the greatest warrior lead my Sinai once more. After this tournament, then will you come with me? My Sine will have a warrior king again. And I will retire to mourn my daughter. For what time is left me? Go back to Yorkas, Jason. Find another bride. Raise a family. See to your people. May you serve them better than I have mine. Like Amidis. Leave me now. King Jason, I am Senator Anaxagoras. We must speak of Lycomedes. The king is not himself. Your king finds himself in a dark place and sees no way out. He plans to give up his throne and use a tournament to name his successor. Already some in the Senate speak of removing the king. The 
conflict or not, a struggle for power could turn violent. It's worse than you think. Lycomedes has decreed the tournament open to foreigners. Our people might accept a Mycenaean victor, but if a foreigner claimed the Fist of Ares, there would be war. Wouldn't Mycenae's favorite son, Achilles, be favored to win? Achilles has yet to enter. What? He won't fight. Why? I know not, but something rustles in this city. You told Lycomedes you saw a black tongue in Mycenae. Yes, in the marketplace. I'm sure of it. I, too, have heard whispers, rumors. If we can prove the Black Tongues have returned, perhaps Lycomedes will find himself again. Do you have support in the Senate? The Senate sees only an opportunity to expand its power. That's why I need your help, King Jason. I'd start with Captain Akikios. He leads the Mycenaean Guard. You will find him at Ares Watch, at the east of the city. You may tell him I've authorized you to look into this matter. If there are black tongues in my city, we'll find them, Senator. the story of the mad king Deucalion? He decreed that all statues in his honor be made of ice. Knowing that no great king outlives his works, he wanted to be the first. No time for fortunes, young king. The news must be cried, even if there's no one to listen. And hear a stage of sand, where actors bleed their lines before an eager chorus. The Purge of Illyria. King Lycomedes slays the dark priest Melosia leader of the Black Tongues on Illyria. A villain may have no honor, but a traitor lacks honor and courage both. King Lycomedes. Cells, workshop, and champion's quarters lie inside. Do you seek passage? I do. Raise the gate! Ah, 
Jason, good to see you again. Why will Achilles not enter? Who knows what goes through the mind of that peacock? He doesn't fear any man, but he might fear the thought of being a king. Could he be convinced to fight? Patroclus might be able to talk him into it, but he doesn't seem to want to. You know, he might listen to you. Why is nobody entering this tournament? Does no one wish to be king? Some of it is fear. Rumor is this Dokkan is among the best fighters in all of Ionia. Others are waiting to see what Achilles will do. But I tell you this, a few gladiators were boasting that they'd enter. Those boasts stopped after they met with Patroclus. I must go now, Davis. I'll speak to you again later. I'll keep my eyes open around here. Go back to your cell if you want to rest. Only the champion gets a private room. The royal grounds lie beyond this gate. Do you seek passage? I do. Let them through! Make no trouble on the royal grounds, or trouble is what you'll get. They say a Mycenaean never loses in battle. They either win or achieve a glorious death. The liberation of Samos. King Lycomedes and the Mycenaean army free Samos from the rule of the Black Tongues. Freedom it is neither right nor privilege. It is a spoil of war.
Yes, what is it? Captain Akikios, I am King Jason of Yolkus. Senator Anaxagoras says you can assist me. Have you had any reports of suspicious men in the city? Well, there's you, and that ship full of Ionians. But we're keeping an eye on them. What about Black Tongues? I saw one in your market. Black Tongues? In Mycenae? With all due respect, sir, this is the most secure port in Greece. Every ship is inspected personally by a member of my guard. Any Black Tongue fool enough to come, we'd find him before he left the harbor. I'd like to see your dock reports. Not going to happen. Those reports contain sensitive and private trade information. If you had authorization from the entire Senate and the King, maybe I'd consider it. Otherwise, forget it. So you'll do nothing. It's one thing to be confident. It's another to ignore a threat. I'll not have you question my command, sir. Between Lycomedes' tournament, unrest in the Senate, and your recent trial, the people are on edge. Now's the time when violence can spread like wildfire. I need my men where they are. Now if you'll excuse me, your highness. Pardon, sir. I'm Alexius, Guardsman of the Watch. I overheard your conversation with the Captain. I too saw something strange in the market. Can't say if it was a black tongue, but one moment he was there, and the next he wasn't. Did you let Akikios know? Yes, sir. He told me the same things he just told you. Keep alert, Alexius. Let me know if you see anything else. I will, sir. But if I may, some advice. Seek the Stork. The Stork? Who's that? Criminal type. Smuggling, gambling, money lending, spying. He's got his fingers in many pies. I shouldn't say this, but he knows more of what goes on here than any senator. If you want to know about crime, it's best to ask a criminal. Where do we find the Stork? There's the rub. We don't know who he is. We've tried to find him, but when it comes to the store, people get... forgetful. He's somewhere near the market, I'm sure of it. Perhaps you can track him down, being an outsider and all. Seek out the stork. Here is the post of Ares Watch. Beacon of vigilance for all of Mycenae. The eyes of the king are forever open. He sees all that happens here. No threat may surprise this land so long as the watch remains. Some view, huh, Jason? Be a great place to sit and have supper. Cleansing of the Cyclades. King Lycomedes drives the Black Tongue forces from their hidden camps on the Cyclades. The man who begs for mercy is a coward. Leave mercy for the man who begs the sword. King Lycomedes. Market and docks lie beyond. 
Do you seek entry? I do. Let them through! If I may say so, you fought well, sir. Ares smiles on you. Thank you! A thousand times, thank you! Pythias told me how you saved him. Our deaths are erased, and we're leaving this place forever. We make for far off Massalia to the west. With your help, we have new life. Now, if only Hera would bless us with a child, all our prayers would be answered. May Hera bless you with the gift you seek. Farewell to you. There's demand for flax in Massalia. The stalks for sheep to graze, the seeds for oil. I could arrange a loan to secure an initial shipment. Uh, perhaps I should handle the finances moving forward, my love. Hail, King Jason. Looking for anything in particular? Information. Do you know where I can find the stork? Why don't you leave my son alone? Excuse me? You are one of Origen's new friends, no? It's because of scoundrels like you he's in this trouble with the stork. Perhaps I could speak to the stork on your son's behalf. Happen to know where he is? Who? Origen? He went to Hermes Shrine to make a devotion. Praise the messenger, it better work too. It's the last of our coin. I meant the stork. The stork? How would I know? My business may be struggling, but at least it's honest. My boy's the one who got mixed up with that rogue. But he's through with all that now, absolutely, completely through. He went to Hermes Shrine, a changed man. Oh, you should have seen his face this morning when I gave him the money. So devout and honest. I hope the devotion will turn your fortune. Good day, Hippia. Bread for sale? Hungry, sir? No, thank you. Yes, come look, mini fine tapestries. A restorative elixir after your grand fight. Fresh goat's blood mixed with honey and seawater for a start. No, thank you. Dies from the far corners of the world. You, sir. Tyrian purple for a man of your quality. No, thank you. Ah, let me guess. Royal blue, like the purple, made from a rare sea snail, rich and lustrous. I've no need of dyes. Good day. Neither blue nor purple? Let me think. Ares Crimson, to show your respects for Mycenae, a wise decision.
That shield you carry, so old and battered. I have many that would serve you better. I doubt it. This shield was my father's, as it was his father's before him. The blood of my ancestors is on this shield, and that makes it strong. It may be old and battered, as you say, but it has never broken. May it always be so. This market is a temple for those who worship money. Hail, King Jason. Forrest, how long will you persist in trying to claim what isn't yours? You've been repaid everything that was your due. And you'll not see one coin more than that. You swindler! I'll tell everyone what type of business you run. That vase was mine. And if you sold it to another, then the profit is mine. What's that issue here? A simple case of fraud. Any honest man would agree with me. A week ago, I paid this charlatan for a base he claimed he was to receive by ship. The ship comes and goes, and I see no vase. Instead, he returns my money and says the vase never arrived. And it didn't. Not the vase I thought I was selling you. We agreed on a vase from Kenosis. There was only an Athenian vase in that ship. Was there a formal agreement? Indeed, there was. The contract is quite clear. <clears throat> Hedistratus agrees to deliver unto Forus a decorative vase due to arrive in the next shipment. Since there was only a single vase in the shipment, that is the vase in question. We both spoke of a specific item, and you know it. We'll see how the Guild interprets it. I filed a complaint yesterday. As have I. Justice will prevail, Forrest. You'll find yourself in the arena before long. Is this what you do? When the bargain doesn't go your way, you change the terms? You know as well as... You know as well as I what was agreed. It's you who tries to claim what isn't yours. You'd think Achilles would be itching to get back in the arena and fight again. If I know him... Woo! That's right, boys. Origin's coin is good and I'm taking all comers. Origen, son of Hippia. Who's asking? My name's Jason. I've spoken to your mother. Good for you. I've spoken to her too. Now, you here to play or chat about my relatives? Origen, the stork wants to see you. I bet he does. I owe him more than I can remember. I'll go see him once I win it back. I don't believe you. Where will you meet him? Why, at his... Wait a moment. No, 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 no. I'm not as dumb as that, am I? Good sir, we'll be very discreet. Your name won't come up? Uh, here's some news for you. You're a speaking satyr. You don't think people haven't already noticed us talking? You will tell me what I want to know. The only question is how much persuasion it's going to take to get you to talk. All right, all right. 
tell you what. We'll play for it. A game of wits. If you win, I'll tell you what you want to know. And if I lose? Then I won't. Oh, and you'll go back to dear old mom and tell her you saw me making a devotion here. How do I know you'll keep your word? I live by Hermes' fortune. The way I see it, he sent you here to determine my fate. Win or lose, I'll follow through. Here's how it'll work. I pick the game, and you choose who plays first. That way, it's fair. Hope you're feeling lucky, boy. What's the game? The game's a simple one, as old as the hills. It's called Eleven. We'll each take turns playing a number between one and four. Each time a number is played, it's added to the total. Whoever hits exactly 11 wins. If you play to a number over 11, you lose. Simple, isn't it? So tell me, do you want to play first or second? I'll go first. Then here we go. Play your number and let's see whose wit is sharper. I play four. And so the total is four. I play two. That brings the total to six. Your turn. I play one. And so the total is seven, which means I, of course, play four, bringing the total to 11. It seems I win. Don't be too hard on yourself. There's few men in Greece can match the wits of origin. Slight exaggeration, perhaps. I can't wait to hear you tell my mom how I've been such a good boy. I need his location, Origin. We just went over that. We played, you lost. That was the deal. Let's play again. You'd like that, wouldn't you? But what's in it for me? You win? I'll pay off your debts to the stork. That's a big number you're talking about. I'll pay it. Then what are we waiting for? Let's play. I'll play second. You first, Origin. Then let's begin and see whose wit is sharper. To start, I'll play two. That means the total is two. Your turn. I play two. And so the total is four. I play two. That brings the total to six. Your turn. I play two. And so the total is eight, which means I, of course, play three, bringing the total to 11. I win again, and you, sir, owe me quite a bit of coin. I said I'd pay your debts to the stork, not you. You trickster! Tell me where to find him, and your debts are gone, Origin. Hmm. Can't get mad at me for sending someone to pay him, right? All right, listen. The stork operates out of a rag stand in the slums. Egyptian fellow, name of Khufu. Be prepared to hand over a hefty sum. Make sure he knows who it's for. I'll keep my word. You did the right thing. head chopped off after it stopped rolling. It just... It just stared at me. 
There's no glory in killing for sport, sire. I hope you see that now. So much blood. It was horrible. But that's the life of the arena fighter. I thought that's what you wanted. Maybe not so much. Sinai, it's time for you to go home. Find the next Yolkin vessel and tell them by my order to take you back. When you get home, report to the palace. The palace? I seem to recall an opening for a junior apprentice quartermaster. Sounds important. Oh, it is. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Apprentice Junior Quarter Captain. I like the sound of that. Oh, desperate youths and foolish dreamers, what glory to the nameless dead. There's no one here that drums of Ares. The Achaean strike. Not with you, Blessed. King Lycomedes scours Achaea of the dark Titan heresy. Ideologies are the weapons of tyrants too weak to wield swords. King Lycomedes. Only cargo past this point. In the arena, you'll be like Tyson. I'll give it to you for free. Some think the odor of the docks foul, but I smell commerce and connection, culture and vitality. <laughs> Here, clear. Unless you're loading cargo. Look, we've caught ourselves a kingfish. <laughs> Come on, we're trying to work here. the drums of Ares. You had the look of a gladiator from the moment you stepped off that ship. You had the look of a gladiator from the moment you... Where'd you run? Again, Jason. Hello, Bolo. Remember when you told me about the stork? Oh, sure. I was telling you what a great father he is. I need to talk to him. Can you tell me where he is? Oh, no. I, I can't do that. He'll beat me something fierce if I do that. I'll protect you, Bolo. I won't let him hurt you. Mm. No, I couldn't. Tell no one who I am. It's his number one rule. I don't want to get this boy in trouble, Jason. I agree. We'll find the Stork on our own. Welcome, good sir. The Khufu offers finest rags and tallow in all Greece. I have no interest in either. But what does the Stork have for sale? So, you've learned my little secret. Was it Origin who told you? Do him no harm. I'll pay his entire debt, if you answer some questions. Keep your coin. His debts are forgiven. I'm actually pleased he sent you here. There might be something you can do for me. But first, 
What can the stork do for you? There are black tongues on Mycenae. Have you heard anything? Rumors. Whispers in the streets. Whispers of what? What you already know. Black tongues in Mycenae. More than one. Other rumors too. Honorable Patroclus speaks with Ionians in private. I wonder what about. Those mercenaries fight in the arena. What's so strange about that? I hear Patroclus offered a contract to an Ionian champion named Dokan. No one's seen a champion of Ionia. They don't leave their homeland. Stranger still, only one man has entered the tournament. Who do you think it is? The Ionian champion. Correct. Dokan is unopposed. Not even Achilles has agreed to fight. I can't believe one champion, even an Ionian, would scare off all competition, including Achilles. May I suggest you put that question to Patroclus? Now, you have been given something of value, yes? I would expect something of value in return. What is it you want? I could care less if the Ionian wins or loses. Business goes on. But if there's only one fighter, we don't have a tournament. No tournament, no gambling. No gambling, no business for Khufu. You could convince Achilles to enter the tournament. He respects you. Why? So you can turn a profit from your gambling business? Think on this. If Achilles wins, Mycenae will proudly accept the rule of a native son. If Dokkan wins, there will be civil war. There is some truth in what he says, Jason. Very well. We'll go speak to Patroclus. Something doesn't add up here. Humble gratitude. Khufu keep little spies work hard. If Khufu learn more, little spy come to you. Convince Achilles to fight. Listen to this, Jason. Fish for sale, fish for sale, fish for sale today. They were swimming in the ocean, and now they're on the docks here on my Sunday. Smelt and bream and sole and eel, I've got a nice fat grouper for you. I had a pretty pinching crab, but it pinched me really bad. So I tossed it back into the blue. Fish for sale, fish for sale, fish for sale today. They were swimming in the ocean, and now they're on the docks here on my Sunday. Smelt and bream and sole and eel, I've got a nice fat mackerel for you. I had an inky stinky squid, but it bled and then it hid, so I left it back in the blue. Fish for sale, fish for sale, fish for sale today. They were swimming in the ocean, and now they're on the docks here on my Sunday. Oh, this is my favorite part. Smelt and bream and sole and eel, I've got a nice fat mullet for you. I had the biggest, fattest whale, but he knocked me with his tail, and he sent me into the blue. Big finish! Fish for sale, fish for sale, fish for sale today! I was swimming in the ocean, but now I'm on the dock! Listen to this, Jason. Fish for sale, fish for sale, fish for sale today. They 
were swimming in the ocean, and now they're on the docks here on my Sunday. Keep out of trouble. This tournament is a mistake. The people here are strong, devoted to Ares, but this goes too far. Even they will not easily submit to a new king determined by a tournament. Unless that king was Achilles. And he hasn't agreed to fight. There's something going on. We'll find out what at the arena. I do. Let them through! The king has given you free reign on Mycenae. You may pass. No time for fortunes, young king. The news of the trial. Merchant Hippias cleared of the news of the A cruel world where death is sport. The arena cells, workshop, and champion's quarters lie inside. Do you seek passage? I do. Let them through! What do you need, Jason? Daedalus, I've heard Patroclus has an arrangement with an Ionian champion called Dokkan. You too, eh? I know this much. That Ionian was here earlier to speak with him. He's a beast of a man. I used to scoff when people said the champions of Ionia were a match for any champion in Greece. Now, I'm not so sure. I must go now, Daedalus. I'll speak to you again later. Achilles is finishing up a sparring session. Patroclus should be up above in the stands, watching.
I do. Let them through! Make no trouble on the royal grounds, or trouble is what you'll get. Peerless display, as usual, Achilles. Yes, yes. Send the girls. Ah, King Jason. Congratulations on a most entertaining trial. I must admit, I was surprised at how it ended. But my prophet soon eased the sting of that shock. I hear Achilles hasn't entered like Amidi's tournament. Are you not concerned? I'm not a slaver. If the man doesn't want to fight, I can't force him. Achilles is a great warrior, perhaps the best. But can you really see him as a king? I also hear you have a new fighter under contract. An Ionian fighter. I'm always in the market for exotic talent. Have you seen him? No. An amazing specimen. And what if he wins the tournament? Have you no fear of the reaction of the people? Mycenae is first and foremost the land of Ares. The strongest should rule, foreigner or not. The people will understand. You've got the chance to hold the biggest tournament in the history of Mycenae and you're letting it pass? You're up to something, Patroclus. I know it. My good king, you just completed a trial by combat. Do you really wish to suffer through another by slandering my good name? Now I bid you good day. An odious character. Let's go back below and speak to Achilles. I want to hear for myself why he won't fight. Arena cells, workshop, and champion's quarters lie inside. Do you seek passage? I do. Let them through! What do you need, Jason? I must go now, Daedalus. I'll speak to you again later. I'll keep my eyes open around here. Achilles! Achilles, it's Jason! Oh, where are you going, Achilles? Come back. What is it? I am preoccupied at the moment. Why are you not fighting in the tournament? Achilles, tell the wine bearer to leave it at the door. <laughs> We're waiting. 
Then fill your cups and wait some more. What business is it of yours if I fight or not? Who rules this kingdom is the business of everyone on Mycenae. Huh. <laughs> what need have I of a crown? What need have I of the fist of Ares? Let the Ionians sit on a throne and bandy words with merchants and farmers. That sounds like Tartarus to me. Do you really think wine and women will keep you satisfied forever? You throw your life away in this room. Remember who you speak to. I am Achilles. Listen to the people. When I stride upon the arena floor, you'd think Ares himself had appeared before them. Don't you see, Jason? I'll be remembered as the greatest fighter the world has ever seen. Greatest. You're nothing, Achilles. No one remembers last year's champion, or the champion before that. You have no place in history. Only a tally of wins and losses. When this arena crumbles to dust, you will be forgotten along with it. Save your breath. You want to stop the Ionian from winning? Fight him yourself. Then you can have two kingdoms to muck up. Achilles, we're bored. Come back to us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to receive my therapy. Achilles! What is he thinking? <sighs> what now, Jason? We must keep searching. We have to find those black tongues. We could see if Senator Anaxagoras has turned up anything new. Or the guardsman Alexius at Ares' watch. He seemed willing to help. And there's always Khufu. Perhaps his spies have found something. We won't find them standing here. Come. King has given you free reign on Mycenae. You may pass. Jason, I've got news from the stork. What is it, Bolo? A couple of the other boys found out the Ionians registered some cargo at the docks. Ionians fight for coin. They do not trade for it. Curious indeed. There's more! Stork said, be sure to tell him who signed for the cargo. Who then? None other than Captain Akikios himself. Stork says captains don't usually do guardsmen's work. I think we need to pay Captain Akikios another visit. Oh, I gotta go. I'm not back in ten minutes. It's a beating for sure. Kufu has no right to beat you. Next time he tries, leave. Easy for you to say. You've got a great big ship to take you anywhere you want to go. But if I leave Kufu, what then? I suppose I could take that job as a barnacle scraper. I don't know what that is exactly, but it sounds fun. What you need is a family, Polo. There's a couple of very nice people I think you should meet. People? Uh, I don't know. Khufu says not to talk to people. Their names are Pythias and Zosime. You can find them just north of the market. I, I don't know. They love music, Polo. 
Pythias plays the lyre. They'd love to hear a song. The market is on my way back. I'll stop by. Better get going. I hope things work out for that boy. I think they'll make a fine family. Come, let's go. Sir, you've proven your innocence, but not everyone will see it that way. I've just been telling little Bolo here that I'm going to teach him to play the lyre. And he's going to teach me some of the songs he knows. That's right. And we're going to Massalonia together. Massalia, Bolo. Right, Malasia. We're leaving tomorrow. Thank you, Jason. Truly, you've been a blessing. I'm happy for you all. May you find fortune wherever you go. Melt and bream and soul and eel. I've got a nice fat grouper for you. I had a pretty pinching crab, but it pinched me really bad. So I tossed it back in the blue. Well sung, Bolo. Well sung. men here with the bronze to fight and yes what is it you'll be I'd like to see your doc reports so what if you do you have no authority it's important the safety of Mycenae is at stake you're a king and you've proven your innocence I can't just ignore the rules for you what exactly is it you want to know Black tongues on Mycenae. I want to know how they got here. Black tongues? Impossible. They must have arrived here on one of these boats. We record every arrival, and we'd have certainly made note of a black tongue, I assure you. No, we did not register any such passengers. The dock reports would tell you as much. Can you see them? The reports are given to Captain Akikios at the end of each day. And if you've met Captain Akikios, you know he won't release them unless you had approval from the entire Senate. 
I wouldn't hold your breath. You, Athena herself would appear on Mycenae before that would ever happen. No help here, it seems. I'm sorry. I cannot help you obtain those reports. But I can tell you, you see nothing that would suggest a threat to Mycenae. And I inspect every ship that comes to port. Very well, Doc Master. Let's hope you're right. Are there no men here with the bronze to fight? In the arena, you'll be famous! You're dead! One or the other! What price for glory? I'll give it to you for free! Midas and You had the look. What deal did Patroclus make with the Ionian champion, Dokkan? Why does no one enter the tournament? Many questions, few answers. as well as I what was agreed. Let me know if anyone gives you trouble. <laughs> 